Yo, how y'all doing this last session? Okay, so there's been another trailer that's been dropped and we can see a lot more of what's going on in Tekken 8 and check out the actual gameplay rather than the short trailer we had last time so yeah, let's get straight into it and uh, check out the new mechanics of this game Okay, so straight away we can see that it's a much more faster paced game than Tekken 7 and the previous Tekkens. Now, this looks like 1 plus 2 and then the screen goes blue and a massive shockwave happens as well. And then it looks like running to after this strange run and then a more you know dynamic run or dramatic run after that. Then he does back 3 into this 1 plus 2 move. Then Kazuya, he does Vice Dine 2. And then he goes into devil mode and then he does down back to and this looks like it's the bound from Tekken 6 so it looks like they've kind of combined them and then from there we have Jack doing back 2 and sending King flying and then running and this is that mechanic we saw with Jin as well. And I think this is going to be something that we're going to see throughout the game. And then he does forward two and then sends this massive gun weapon thing flying down. And then literally just shoots King away for miles. So then after that, we have Lars. That looks like he did it down two. And it looks like this is guaranteed. He does a forward forward three. And then again, the run happens. And after the run, he does one, two, three. And it looks like... It's kind of got the same bound as Tekken 6 as well. So we can see that. And as you can see, Lars moved into the foreground. So we can see that there will be sidestepping in this game as well. So let's analyze this now. So it looks like Jin does a 1 plus 2 and then sends Kazuya quite far back. And then he does a very dramatic and dynamic run. And then he does a running punch which the devil wing comes out and then he does an even more fierce and harsher run than his last and then it looks like that's a power crush that he does from his stance not sure if it's going to be a power crush or not but it looks it does look very identical to Tekken 7 power crush moves now he does this again as you can see the 1 plus 2 comes out and then this running punch which makes Kazuya block even more and then a more faster run and then goes into the Zen stance after the back three and then does this sort of power crush and I think he's homing as well. It's gonna be a high. But I'm not quite sure exactly if it is a power crush or not, but it does look very, very close to that. Then Kuzey does wild sign two, then down back two. And then we get this Tekken six bound mechanic. Then again we look to Jack and he does back two, which literally just shot king right off the stage and then does this run a lot of people i think every single character will have this run embedded in their moves i'm not sure if you can cancel it or not but it does look very stuck to the move so i don't think you'll be able to kind of take away that run or not but we'll see later on now you can see that Lars did a down 2 into forward forward 3 then runs 1 2 3 now you can see Lars as he does his combo he kind of goes into the foreground with this spin and then with this spin and for those saying that it wasn't a 3D game well now you go so now you know that it's a 3D game again and I'm very happy to know that and as you can see even when Kazuya does while standing 2 to Jin he looks like he does get pushed into the foreground a little bit and then this down back two which is this new bound mechanic now i'm not entirely sure if you can do both bound mechanics in one combo but we'll see later on so as you can see again jack he does this run and everyone i think is gonna have this run now if characters are bigger will they have a slower run will they have a faster run 
not entirely sure of that. And I'm not entirely sure if characters like Jin in the beginning will have two or double runs as well. So he does one attack, then runs, and then another attack, and then runs after that as well. I'm not entirely sure if that is going to be the case. But it does look that everyone will have this mechanic. And it's a very cool feature to the game. And I do like this a lot. These stages as well look really nice. But yeah, let's get straight back to this again. As you can see, Jin does 1 plus 2 or whatever move that is. And then he runs and smashes the ground with his steps. And then another powerful punch from his run. Now people say this is a 4 4 2. I don't think it's a 4 4 2. It looks like something completely different. Because for 1 4 4 4. 4 4 2 it wouldn't push someone that far again as you can see this three punch combo which hits because yeah it pushes him quite far then Jin does this run powerful steps and a fast run as well and then this proper fast punch and a hard punch and then he does this back three into his stance and then he does this so yeah after Jin used that move he looks like this from the start up and then does the three punches and then after that he does this run here so this. so here's the run and as you can see he's glowing blue or whitish kind of purple as well and he does this run after this move which i think is a one plus two looks very different though so yeah so here yeah, after this run Jin does a punch and then Kazuya glows orange and also on Jin's back you can see one wing. Now another thing is that the glowing after the run or when the run started has kind of disappeared. It's dissipated quite a little bit after Jin's done this punch. Now I'm not sure why that is but after that what happens is he does this strange looking run here and you can see it's purple white. As you can see, this aura that is emanating from Jin's body after he does this even more powerful run than the first, than the primary, uh, than the primary run. So the primary run was quite fast, but this one looks even faster and more ferocious. Now, after this, he goes immediately, I think, into his normal stance and then back three into Zen and looks like one plus two. As you can see, his body kind of gives off that kind of glass effect. His body glows white a little bit, almost like it's kind of ghostly or ghastly. And then he does this swipe, which is a high, high move. So yeah, as you can see, Tekken 8 looks way more aggressive and fast paced, which is what I like. I'm a aggressive player at heart a very very aggressive player so people running away from me in Tekken 7 and backdashing all the time was quite annoying especially in ranked and so on and another thing I want to say is that this game looking like this feels way more comfortable this is what it looks like you know this is what Tekken should have always been that's how it feels like and feels way more comfortable as well feels way more at home the stages look amazing, especially this stage over here. And another thing is that even me playing these people for so long, and it's no problem or insult to them. They play as how they play, but it's just not my style. So I was saying, as I was saying, pretty much, you know, playing these players, I kept going back and all that kind of made me play like that as well. So I've picked up that play style of running away as well. And I play like that because I'm bored most of the time Tekken 7. There's nothing really new going on. There's no real challenge. There's only some players you can't beat and some players you can. So it's just, you know, it just feels like everyone is kind of like playing the same. They haven't really got, because their characters don't feel like it's very detailed. And therefore, when they play, they kind of look very alike. So I hope this changes things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, thanks all for watching. I'll see you next video. See ya.